Welcome to the strategy guide and walkthrough for Octopath Traveler 2 for all the secrets to get all the treasure chests, the weaknesses to the enemies you will face, and the best strategies for the bosses and everything you need to know to ace chapter 1 for Hikari in Octopath Traveler 2. Please like and subscribe, let's go. Okay, after the cutscene you're going to get control of Hikari, you have to clear out some enemies, you'll have Ritsu here in your party with you to help you. Now these enemies at first, these Soldiers are weak to both sword and spear, so it really doesn't matter. It's going to be another cutscene in which you'll need to fight an, a soldier and an officer. During this fight, Ray May will join. I recommend using spear attacks to get rid of the two guard soldiers with him first. And then the boss himself, the officer, you're just going to use sword attacks and lightning-based attacks. Those are his weakness. Then you're going to get another cutscene. And once that cutscene is over, you're going to head towards the tavern that you see here. Use your path action to duel the Mugen soldier. He's vulnerable to both sword and spear, so it really doesn't matter. Super easy fight. Next up, you're gonna go see Benkai, but before you do that, we have some treasure chests to go get, such as the one right behind the tavern. In the house right behind it is a treasure chest. There's also a save point near the castle door and wall. Make sure right here that you go up the ladder. There is a chest up there on the left side. Now, now, after you get both of those and you've talked to Ben Kai, who is over here, follow the path and get to the king. You're going to get to a cutscene once you get there, and now it's time to go find someone that has information on Mugen's plot. Now, if you head here to this north area and follow the merchant, you're going to find this is your guy. Here's who has the information that you need, but he's a little expensive. Thankfully, there's a treasure chest right behind him over here that has 1,600 gold in it, and that should be plenty enough for you to bribe him and get the information that you need. So use your path action, get him to talk, then leave town out of this exit. And you're gonna fight some random monsters, and get some levels. Great place to grind here. I recommend to make it fairly easy to at least get to make sure you're at least level five or six. Now, there's a couple secrets out here, such as here you're gonna ride this canoe by walking off this pier and head for this area that I show right here to make sure that you get this secret chest. And then back up here where you were grinding, where this kind of town area is, head over to the left, and over here you're going to find another chest you want to collect. And there's another chest near the watchtower. Make sure you take this path going up the cliff, there's a save point, and to the right of the save point is another treasure chest. Head to the marked location, and you're going to get to a cutscene. There's a boss fight here with two guards, and the boss is weak to sword attacks. Make sure you use your healing items, your grapes, to stay alive and when Hikari's latent power is full you're going to get a pop-up telling you about it just be sure when it's all the way full that you do use it and you should be able to defeat this boss no problem head back to the castle talk to the soldier there to obtain an item and then there's going to be a save point and a cut scene now after this scene go left to grab a chest then down to a merchant storage area and there's another treasure chest down there Go up the stairs, go right, use the ladder to get to another chest, and then continue on and head in this room for another chest beside a downed person here. Head to the throne room, get this cutscene, and you have now defeated and 100%ed Chapter 1 for Hikari the Warrior. Octopad Traveler 2 is an excellent JRPG that harkens back to the Super Nintendo RPG days and its story is absolutely wonderful. I highly recommend that you prioritize picking up all of the characters as your first objective before heading off to start choosing which characters you want to do Chapter 2 of the stories with. Make sure you play through each character's opening story, their Chapter 1, and I will have guides for each chapter to make sure you find all the goodies right here on the channel for Octopath Traveler 2. And I hope you're enjoying Enjoying this wonderful JRPG as much as I am. If this guide helped you, please like and subscribe for more. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming.